Now, in this first bar, which is a pickup bar, uh, we've got to start in what I call pause H, which is position home, which means my first finger is on the root note, the G. This is a fourth button start instrument, so this button here on the push, if I press the button, push in, that's G. So I'm in that position. And in fact, it's my little finger that I use there on the octave G. So it's an octave, an octave higher than this G. And I simply do this. I play the G on the push, and then I pull out without repressing the button to get the F sharp that follows it. That's why you've got that dagger underneath that note, both with the full finger, obviously. And it says NC, which means no chord. Uh, so there's no left hand there. It's simply a little uh, pickup bar into the main bar, which is the next bar. So you go uh, one, two, three, four, and. Okay, just a reminder, although this is two, two, I'm going to count it like it's four, four, because it's quite hard to count uh, in that way. Okay, just trust me on that. It won't be a problem. Now, in bar number one, which is uh, the bar below that in that first complete stave, you can see a thick line, thin line, and two dots. So that's a repeat code. So we're going to repeat uh, from this point later on in the tune. But this is the first complete bar. And it's a fairly complicated bar, to be fair. Um, we have an E on the pull. That's the button above we've just played. Finger three. And then we play the same button on the push to get the D. And then we come to the button above on the pull. Finger two. And that gives us a C. Play the same button on the push. Um, notice we've got a dagger there, so we can just uh, change the direction of the bellows to get that B. And the button above on the pull gives us A. So that's... Now you see we have a crotchet, two quavers, and two more crotchets. So we count that. One, two, and three, four. Like that. And when you play, remember to keep the bellows square. Don't drop the bellows to sound the notes. Now the left hand there written above, we have a C bass, which is this button here. I use my little finger on button four, uh, finger three on button three, finger two on button two, finger one on button one on both rows. You don't have to do that, of course, uh, but it's just the way I do it. I, I think it's more logical. So we have a C bass on the pull, of course, and we have a G chord, which is button three on the other row, on the outside row, on the push. So we have pull, push, and then we play the G bass, that's button four on that row, on the push, and then we come to the button we play for the G chord, we pull out, and that gives the D chord. So it's C bass, G chord, G bass, D chord. Like that. So, fairly complicated to put that lot together. And obviously when you play that C note, um, that one there, that's on the pull. The previous bass, the chord was on the push, so you've got to make sure there's no bass on there, so make sure you lift off there. So from the very beginning, one, two, three. And that's our pickup bar and our first complete bar.